guys, it's Wednesday, and uh, maybe I'll turn around here. We're in a Duramax, and we got skid steer behind us. We're going to move some snow. Uh, I moved snow all day yesterday, and I was so busy, I just didn't take the camera out. I need to get a GoPro. It would have been pretty sweet to have a GoPro on the roof of the skid loader, but instead we're going to use the handheld point and shoot and do a couple updates and that sort of thing. So it's about 24 degrees out today, which isn't too bad. Uh, yesterday I think it was about the same, but the wind was coming out of the south at like 20 mile an hour, and it was just brutal. I do have heat in the skid steer, but I do not have, uh, it's not set up for heat. It's got uh, an aftermarket heater in it that I installed, uh, which does run off coolant. But I have a door, but no sides uh, for the cab. So I have like plexiglass over it. So there's no insulation between the ROPs and the frame of the machine. So there's air gaps everywhere. And your feet get really cold after several hours in that machine. So threw the old electric socks on today. We'll see if that helps. They don't feel like they're working very good. So we'll see what happens. But I've just been driving, uh, heading up to the next job I have to do. So the, the first one I did was uh, the funeral home that I plow. And the other one is another one of their locations in another town. So we're heading up there. You know, you look at the side of the road and you wouldn't think that we really had that much snow, but nothing ever melted and our parking lots are so full of snow that you just can't, there's just nowhere to put it. You're losing parking spaces. I mean, you can start losing more parking spaces, but we've lost, I think in a location that I plow, I probably wasted 30 parking spaces out of, I don't know, maybe... 80 or 90 parking spaces so that's a third of the parking gone so when they get a big service they uh of course you know are really scrambling for parking and then when they they uh i, I should have said uh call the cars when they have an actual service they don't park the cars in the parking spaces they line them up in a parade in the parking lot and that makes it even worse um I just had snow piles everywhere. We had to plow it so many times during the day when there were cars there. You know, they'd have something getting ready to start, and, you know, two hours before that, it decides to pour down snow. So I had snow in places I wouldn't normally put snow, which also didn't help matters any. So I will bring you guys back when we get to the job and uh, give you a look see at what I got to do. And here we are. This don't look too bad other than the fact that uh, it got snow piled up on all the islands and three quarters of all these parking spaces have got snow in them. Which sucks, but what are you gonna do? And then the other side of the parking lot, I used to plow this place, I've plowed more stuff up around it, and now they just plow their own. <laughs> they blocked both their own trailers in. And then we've lost all those parking spaces. Yep. That's, uh, that's a tough one, fellas. All right, well, I'll figure out where I'm gonna park this rig here. Looks like they've lost quite a bit of parking up, uh, up front. It's all drifted over. I mean, it's melted back, but these piles are all ice. You can't plow snow up on them. And we always used to plow that main driveway coming in right up to that edge, right where that tree is, right there. At the end of that row of evergreens. So, oh guys, I piled snow all over a whole bunch of boxwood shrubs right there. That's gonna be bad news come springtime. All right, we'll give you a progress update in a little bit. I forgot to bring a tripod. Hey guys, here we are moments later, actually, a day later and we're on funeral home number two with the cleanup and I'll give you a little bit of a look around but all these parking spaces ahead of this truck there's probably 15 ahead of it and there's probably another 15 behind it we're all blocked same thing with that whole side 
and got it cleaned up and uh, all that. The entranceway was pretty messed up. They had a bunch of snow stacked up by the street from clearing off the slush and all that. I'll take you guys just for a little look around the parking lot. I just got back in the truck. I was here seven hours yesterday and I've been here five hours today minus a couple lunch breaks, but uh, other than that, that's kind of where we're at. I got the whole front lawn stacked up with snow out there. You'll be able to see it here in a second. See it through the uh, little corridor along the side of the building there. That's the front lawn. I'm not going out that exit, so I'm not going to walk around outside. It's five degrees outside. But yeah, we got it all the way around here. And those piles are probably 15 or 20 feet deep. Um, and I'm still at the edge of the parking lot within about four feet because it's not frozen underneath it. I tried to scrape it off last night and push them back today, but the big piles froze along with the ground, which is fine. And then of course it started snowing today. So yeah, you can see some of these chunks are pretty healthy. But uh, that vehicle right there was parked where uh, Snow Mountain is. From this light pole all the way down to the building is snow. That's probably, well, it's a full set of parking spaces, so 18 or 20 feet deep by, eh, that's probably 50 foot long by 10 foot tall. So that's it. The dumpster's accessible now. The dumpster was all packed in. It was just like a little chute where they could get the dumpster out of. So we got them a little more room here. Originally they were talking we were gonna get some warmth on Sunday and maybe a little bit of rain, but the local weather station says, you know, just a little bit of snow and uh, my AccuWeather app on my phone says we're gonna get six to 10 inches of snow. So that's a pretty wide gamut. Hopefully we don't get 10 inches or uh, It'll be kind of wet and this place is going to get screwed up again along with the other one that I plow. So, sorry, no action shots. I'm freezing my dork off in the skid steer all day. So, hope you guys are all having a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.